hello beautiful people hope you're doing well my name is dennis and welcome to my channel in today's video guys i want to take you through one of the best adventure trips that i went in the southern coast of mombasa i'm talking about county 002 wale county what a privilege to visit shimoni a place where a long time ago uh, african slaves were being taken by the arabs uh, then shipped to tanzania for better trade then we passed through the kws offices in shimoni whereby we registered ourselves and took a dow ride to kisite island whereby we went for snorkeling and underwater photography and videography then after that we went to the wasini island one of the best islands in the south coast whereby we had our lunch a very nice lunch there and also we got to see the dolphins and the whales that was a very nice experience. We saw the dolphin. It was my first time to see the dolphin. It was amazing. So this was courtesy uh, of Nya Nyawera. Um, Nyawera is one of the best uh, swimming coaches uh, in Mombasa and in Kenya. The package is 14,000 shillings. You get to have 14 lessons being coached by her and get that experience of swimming or if you, you are a good swimmer and you just you just want to go to Wasini Island to that to get that experience you just pay uh, 5,000 then you get to have that chance to go to Wasini Islands that 5,000 caters for the transport to and fro uh, where you are staying in Mombasa and coming back to and fro and also you get uh, to have a lunch there so it is a nice experience if you want to book your trip to Wasini uh, there's a number below on your screen just call that number and you'll be booked for your trip to Wasini and I'll leave all the des descriptions in the description box so that you get that information if you want to go to Wasini Island so let me take you through uh, a journey from Mombasa where we speak during uh, that day on the weekend but before you you see uh, the rest of my experience kindly subscribe to my channel like this video and don't forget to comment on my comment section at the end of this video so let's begin uh, showing you the experience that I went through uh, during my time in Wasimi <music> it's very early in the morning it's like 6 a.m. in the morning and uh, I just came to my pickup point whereby, whereby I'll be picked uh, by the person in charge taking uh, me to Wasini Island so I'm here at Inyali because I was in Nyali so I'm here in Nyali just near premium hospital uh, this is where I'll be picked by uh, my transportation it's raining right now, uh, not a good sign, but uh, yeah, hoping for the best, hoping to have fun in Wasini. So let me wait for my ride so that I can start the journey to Wasini, so yeah. Guys, I'm in my ride right now. I've just been picked by Shipa, one of uh, the person in charge of our transportation to Wasini. So yes, beautiful transportation right here. Uh, I know we'll be having a smooth ride to Wasini. Uh, we have other people that uh, accompany us uh, to uh, Wasini, so hope we'll enjoy the trip uh, uh, to the end uh, on the other side of the south coast. So let's go. This is a project of uh, Dongo Kundu bypass. It makes it easier for the people from FGR airport to access the Yani Beach. Okay. This is Dongo Kundu. So, okay, to FGR na airport is not a must for you to come to Paris. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. We have a bridge here, but we a new bridge. Uh huh. Okay. And this place is called Shika Adabu. Shika Adabu. Yeah. Okay. So you remember here to open. Okay. Or well, this section of uh uh-huh barabara street light uh -huh. as you can see there. Uh, on the other side. Yeah. 
Then go Kundo bypass. Okay, we are in Kwale County. Kwale County is the last South Coast County in Kenya. After Kwale County, we'll be entering Tanzania. But we are not going to Tanzania, we are going near to Tanzania. Okay. Kwale County is the last South Coast County in Kenya. Okay. After Kwale, uh -huh. Tanzania. Okay. Uh, I've just came from 001 and now I'm 002 in Kwale. So yeah, still continue with the, uh, with the tour and the journey to Masini. I've been told this is the last county uh, in the coastal of Mombasa. After Kwale County, we enter Tanzania. So, nice experience on the other side. In Mombasa, uh -huh. it is a dry uh, island. Uh -huh. In Kwale County, it is evergreen because uh -huh. the land is so spartan. Uh -huh. Okay. It was built in 1923. Built in 1923, the first high school in uh, first high school in uh, in the South Coast. 1923. Yeah, okay. So here is It's a funny one. My Maganyakulo. Ikona 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 historia. Okay. So I'm in my Maganyakulo right now, and uh, uh, I just got the history of uh, South Coast. Uh, we just passed one of the oldest uh, high school in South Coast. That was the first high school to be built in South Coast, which is called the Wa High School. So it was built in 1923. Uh, uh, that's that's a uh, long time ago. I know it was built by the the colonies, but uh, yeah, this is amazing because uh, Almost, uh, 100 years, 100 years right now, 1923. That's a very long time, and the school is still uh, very nice and uh, it's performing very well. Uh. Yeah. On your right, you will be going to Kwale County. Huh? Yeah, sorry. To Kwale Town. Kwale Town. Shimba Hills. Okay. So Shimba Hills is in uh, Kwale Town. Eh? Yeah. Okay. If you go to the right side, all the offices in Kwale Town. Uh -huh. In Kwale County are in Kwale Town. So this is the road taking you to right Kwale Town. Side. Okay. So the High Court, Huduma Center, uh -huh. the office of the Governor. So this is the road. In this side. Okay. The stage is called Kombani. Kombani. So this is the junction uh, between going to Diani and going to Kuali Town. Yeah. So this is Kombani. Okay. Yeah. So here we are in Kombani. After Kombani, we will be entering Tiwi. Oh, so after Kombani is Tiwi. Yeah. A good thing about Tiwi, uh -huh. it has a show the ocean uh -huh. with a natural map of Africa ah. where uh -huh. you can do a cliff jumping oh, okay 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 from the cliff to the water yeah. okay so that's Tiwi Tiwi okay so in Tiwi we have uh, this kind of uh, uh, what um, a cliff a, a, map where, of a map of Africa whereby you can jump from the cliff to the water so this is found in Tiwi, which is just a few meters from here, this some kilometers. In Tiwi. Huh? in Tiwi. Tiwi. Just a few kilometers to enter Diani. Kukunda. In Diani, I'm halfway uh, from Wasini. And uh, I'm just uh, in this small town of Diani. Beautiful place, beautiful drive. And it is amazing because the road is very, very nice. It is nicely constructed, very, very beautiful. When we were coming from uh, the Mombasa ferry uh, to this place, the road was very, very smooth. And I enjoyed from uh, Mombasa ferry to this place now. So yes, this is beautiful. This is the, the car that we are using to, to travel to Asin. A very beautiful uh, car. Very, very nice and new. So this is our transportation, guys. I'm done. Uh, I'm this Indiani, I'm done. So again, I'm... 
ready to start again the journey to Wasini. Yeah. So guys, we are in Samwain, uh, here in uh, the southern coast of Kenya. All this is sugar cane. Bramis is a place where it is a sugar plantation. Okay. And then they export the sugar. There's a factory which is called Kiskol, Kuala International Sugar Company Limited. Mm. Their sugar cane are very thin but mm. very sweet. Okay. So this all this is a sugar plantation. All this. We are at a place called Ramis. Let me see. Yeah. Kuala International Sugar Company Limited. The pride of sweetness. And the pride of sweetness. Okay. So if you go on the left side, you are going to Punzi Island. Okay. A place where there is a series by a name called Pete. It is being active. Oh, the Pete, the Pete, uh, the Pete program, program in. In, in a active in Punzi Island. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. In film there. Okay. So if you are going to the other side, it's Lunga Lunga. Yeah. And Kisite. Yeah. This road. From the main road to Shimoni is 15 kilometers. We are going at a place called Shimoni. During 18th century, Shimoni was a slavery place. Slaves were being kept at Shimoni caves and transferred to Zanzibar for further marketing. They were, they were being kept at Shimoni caves for three weeks because they are having a target of 2,000 slaves per three weeks. So a boat from Tanzania will come and boat them, take them to Tanzania for further trading. Mm. Since slavery was abolished, Shimoni is a fishing marketplace. Mm. Opposite Shimoni is Wasini Island. Wasini Island is measured 7 km long by 3.5 km width. Mm. It has a, a population of 3,600 people. Majority of them are Muslims. Wasini is a coral island. No farming is being done there. In Wasini Island, there's no electricity, no fresh water. Electricity, for those who can afford it, they use solar panels. While fresh water, they depend on rainwater. Ah. It is subdivided into two parts, two villages. One village is called Vumba Village. The other one is called Mkwiro Village. There are only two schools and two dispensaries in Wasini Island. Schools are nursery school and primary school. For the high schoolers, they have to go to a boarding school due to the cost of, of crossing by boat every day. So they go to Shimoni, boarding school, Msamboeni, Lunga Lunga, or even Mombasa. Wasini Island, both men and women, they depend on fishing. For the men, they use the mango canoes and the bigger boats to the open water. While the women, they wait for a low tide across the reef, stinging for octopus and crabs. And then they sell it to Shimoni. Our program of today will board a boat from Shimoni towards Kisitem Punguti Marine National Park, which is situated behind Wasini Island. Behind Wasini Island, it is subdivided into three parts. Two parts are marine reserves by name Mpunguti. The third one is marine park by a name Kisite. Kisite is the last marine or the last island in Kenya. After, after Kisite Marine National Park, we'll be entering Tanzania. A program of today will board a boat, boat from Shimoni towards Kisite Marine National Park, which will be using one and a half hour by boat to reach there. On our way, since Wasini is a home of dolphins, we'll, f we'll see our friendly dolphins. Dolphins are mammals. As a mammal, they move from one place to another searching for food, socializing and adventure. They don't have a specific place. If we see them, the pilot will stop the boat, we check the paparazzi and mamarazzi, photos and videos, until everyone is satisfied. 
then we'll pass two marine reserves and reach Kisite Marine National Park. In Kisite, it is a place where we'll be doing our snorkeling. Both swimmers and non-swimmers will be guided by the crews on the boat. If dolphins enter the marine park, we are allowed to swim with the dolphins. If dolphins are not inside the marine park, we are only taking photos and videos from the boat. After the in-water activity, we get back to the same boat using the same cha channel towards Wasini Island to have our yum yum lunch. On lunch for the seafooders, what is inclusive in your package is fish and crab. For those who are not seafooders, there's alternative of taking chicken. For those who are allergic to meat, there is a vegetarian menu. All this accompanied with rice with a coconut sauce, stew, chapati, seaweed or seagrass, and stew potatoes. After your lunch, you'll be given some food. For those who are interested on extra platter, which is lobster, calamari, octopus, and prawns, this will pay extra from your package. After having our lunch, for those who will be interested to have our Sydney village walk, we'll, we'll have our Sydney village walk 10 to 15 minutes, then we'll get back to the same boat and we we'll make our destination over where we park our car. Feel free to ask me any question. I'm here to serve you the whole day. My name is Shipa. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice explanation. Very nice. So now we are heading to Shimoni, right? Okay. Shimoni town. Eh? Shimoni Reef. So, the slave caves, it is on my right side. Shimoni slave caves. As you can see. So this is a cave. Mm -hmm. By that time, it used to access until to the shore. Okay. So the slaves have been taken underground to the shore. Okay. But since slavery was no, is not here, mm -hmm. so the sand and the ocean covered all the cave mm. to the shore. Okay. So it is only in this side. Okay. This is Shimoni slave cave. Kisita National the Park. The O will be A. And that is Wasini Island. Wasini Island. <laughs> Guys, we are here at uh, Kisite, Mpunguchi National Park. Uh, so this is Shimoni. This is, this is Shimoni? Yeah, Shimoni KWS officers. Okay. Uh, so the journey was nice. Uh, we enjoyed it with our friends right here. Uh, with our tour guide right here, so yeah, it was amazing, and we have arrived safe here in uh, Shimoni. I told you 8:45. 8:45 exactly on time. So now we are about to have the fun of our life. <laughs>